Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. If you saw yesterday's video, you know that we're getting into bees on the homestead. So as promised, here is the how to build or assemble the maybe eight frame Langstroth beehive. So without further ado, let's get into it. Dog is here to help assemble. So here's the box that the beehive came in. Just a regular little box. So Let's open it up and see what she looks like. Here's the box opened up. Instruction manual, medium frames, brood box, large or deep frames, all the components, nails. So let's start assembling. I'll give you some snapshots of the assembly process in this video as well. Here are all the components laid out. So we got the medium super sides, the brood box, deep brood box, end pieces, the solid bottom board. I'll go over all the components once it's put together, but uh, everything is here, it looks like. Nothing's damaged. Got the telescope and top cover. That was the inner cover I showed you a second ago. And all the foundation frames, uh, foundation. So even got hardware with it. And first impression, it's way better quality than I thought. I mean, I read reviews and tried to find the best hive, but this has exceeded my expectations. It really has. So I'm gonna start assembling. And uh, I'm not gonna show you every step because that'll probably be boring, but I'll just hit the high points of it and uh, see you back in just a minute. I'm gonna get started. Don't forget your work gloves and safety glasses. Everything in today's video will be in links in the description, the hive, safety gear. Everything will be linked, so if you need to look at it. And look, I even got a honeybee smelling the beeswax. So I forgot to mention that all this is beeswax coated. And we even got a little honeybee right there checking it out. Now that's pretty cool. And along with your safety gear, you also need a hammer to install this and a Phillips screwdriver or impact gun or drill. But be careful uh, using the impact gun or drill. Make sure you got your chuck turned way down, your clutch down, so you don't bust out any wood and a work table, which I'm using my salvage garden table, my garden work table to build this on. So I figured this would present better than the tailgate of the truck. So we'll start with the uh, boxes. We'll build the, uh, the brew box, the deep brew box first. So I got all these components. I cleaned up my work area, make it a little easier to work. So you'll need the screws and the impact gun or Phillips screwdriver for this step. Then I got the super the medium super uh components up here we'll do that next move positions the sun was was messing with the angle but anyhow let's get started i'll start on the uh deep brew box first so i got your two end pieces make sure your handles are facing out and then get your side pieces and since it's a dovetail joint line it up push it together you may need the wood side of your hammer or a rubber mallet to top, tap that together because there's a lot of wax on it but don't use the metal side of your hammer you might crack that wood so just start assembling it get your other long piece the other side of the box again make sure the handles out line up your dovetails and get everything lined up and push it together like such and then we'll do the other side of it so this side's gonna be a little, a little more difficult cause the way the dovetails go together, you gotta kinda open it up, push them in there. Same thing on the other side. Line the dovetails up and squeeze it together. And now we'll put the screws in it. And now we'll put the screws in. You got two different length screws with the kit. You got a long screw that goes in the sides right here and then a short screw that goes in right here. So remember, turn your impact gun or drill chuck down if you're using a power tool. Make sure your box is snugly together first before you put the screw in. Make sure it's straight, plumb, and then just ease into it. Like that, and then copy and paste the rest of the way. And don't countersink them. You could bust the wood, just make them flush with the edge of the wood. There's a pre-machined spot in the wood, so you can take the, the head of the screw and just flush it off, and you should be in good shape. I 
All right, the brood box is done. Now time for the medium super. It goes together the same way. Make sure your handles, that's up, that's down. Make sure your handles go like that on the side pieces. Same method, just put your dovetails together. Copy and paste until you have a complete box. All right, so the medium super is put together and now we'll put the screws in it. super nice and flush now for the fun part putting all the frames and frame foundations together so this is going to be a little more time consuming than building the box but it's everything machined out pretty good on the wood so let's get started one more additional component needed i didn't include to begin the video i want you to glue the frames together so i'll be using gorilla glue because that's all I got. I don't have regular wood glue. So Gorilla Glue should be plenty strong enough to hold this wood together. All right, so to build your frame foundations, you gotta have a top bar and your bottom bar and your side bars. You need two side bars, like such. So get your top bar, which you can see is longer than the bottom bar. And this is the top of the bar, and this is the bottom that goes down into the hive. And you can see the notch for the foundation to go into. Same thing on your bottom bar. It's got the notch for the foundation. So the instructions say to glue here. So I don't know how much glue. I'm just gonna put, put a little bit up the sides, a little small amount, cause Gorilla Glue expands. Then I'm going to assemble it. Cause there's nails going in here too, so I'm not gonna overkill it on the glue. So there, like that, and then let me do the other side too. Just gonna put glue around it. My best knowledge, that's about enough, I hope. If not, we can always add more glue to it and then press it in together nice and tight. And then I will slide the frame in in the next step and assemble the bottom. All right, so the glue's dried for a few minutes. So I got the foundation. This is the deep foundation. You can see the notch. So we're assembling it upside down on the table here. And then here's the bottom. So we'll line everything up on the sides, make sure the foundation is in the notches. Like such, and now we will nail it together. Start with the bottom bar. The instructions say one nail. So we're gonna center it up best we can. Little finishing nails, I give you plenty of them. Try to line it all up. Same thing on the top bar, one nail on either side, centered up with side supports. So there's one completed, glued at the top, nailed at the bottom just like the instructions. So I'm wondering if I need glue on the bottom. I don't know, maybe the rest of them I might put a little dab of glue on the bottom. I think I will, my own little spin on it, make it a little more durable. But there's one. The next one I will add a little bit of glue in the bottom too, just for security purposes. So 15 more to go. And while you're assembling your first ones, just go ahead and drop it in the, in the hive. Make sure it fits like it should. Looks great to me. So all the brood box frames, the deep frames are complete. Elapsed time from when the last cut scene was on the video was maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna put them into the brood box. Set this off to the side. Now work on the uh, the honey super box uh, frames now. Now 
how to do the medium, the honey super frames. So again, top bar, your bottom bar, your side supports. We're gonna glue the top and bottom just like the first. I'm gonna glue them. Just a thin layer of glue on there. Since we're using Gorilla Glue. And then we'll put it together just like the other ones. So you got your glue on there, put it on your top bar. And the notches right there. This is a little snug. There we go, got it. Glue, top bar. Upside down. Then throw your foundation in there. And then notch, line everything back up. Make sure the foundation's in the notch. Put it together, and now smush it all together. Now we'll nail it. There's one down, nice and solid. Seven more to go. A few moments later, got the frames put together medium frames for the honey super so now we'll install them in the medium box elapsed time to assemble these was about the same as those maybe 10 minutes i don't think it took quite as long on this batch because i got in a good groove and literally i just put them all in there Now we'll do the final assembly of the hive. All right, final assembly. So we got our bottom board. It's a solid bottom board. And we got our entrance reducer. So I'll go ahead and just throw that on there for now because there's not gonna be any bees in here for almost four months, but I'm gonna show you how to put it together. So you got your bottom board, entrance reducer put on. Just take your deep brew box, set it on top, get everything lined up. like such okay and then if you were doing it for honey production this is not how to beekeep this is just the hive assembly so there's a lot of stuff i'm leaving out but i'm just showing you how it goes together so you have your queen excluder which this one's plastic you can get them in stainless but for this kit damn plastic is just fine so then you stick that on top of your brood box all right then get your Honey super, this one's a medium. So you get your honey super, put it on top of that, like such. And then your inner cover, put it on the top, like such. And then the top cover, which is very good thick wood. You can tell it's high quality, nice piece of sheet metal on the top to keep it dry. And then drop your top cover, your telescoping top cover on there and you got yourself a nice little beehive so i hope this was a helpful video of how to assemble this maybe eight frame langstroth beehive i uh, hope i earned a like from you so if you don't mind please hit that like button help me trend on the algorithm grow this channel a little bit and if you got any questions or anything please stick it in the comments and if you're not subscribed i would greatly greatly appreciate a subscription but this beehive is very nice for the price. Links will be in the description for the hive and everything I use today, safety gear, glue, all that good stuff. So you can look everything up if you if you would like. I said quality hive, no problems putting it together. Nothing was broke. None of the wood busted. All the holes were drilled. Everything fit nicely together. I mean, just I couldn't be more more impressed with this hive. Good starter hive. And that's about it for today's video, so thank you for watching the Aqua Mountain Homestead. We'll see y'all later.